All right, another one here that I'm going to show you from the ESV where you have a serious problem. Um, Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, comma, and with fire. Right, and you know what's what it's talking about here because the verse the next verse talks about this. It says, Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn the chaff with unquenchable fire. It's not talking about the same thing, it's talking about two different baptisms. The one baptism with the Holy Ghost is for saved people, the other one with fire is for lost people. But the modern charismatic movement, they'll say, Have you been baptized with the Holy Ghost of fire? Where are they getting this from? I wonder if the ESV could be helping them in their heresy. Let's check. Matthew 3.11 in the English Standard Version. I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. Unloose or carry there. Yeah, right. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Where's the comma at? They took the comma out. Just a simple little thing there, and they took out the word with as well, and fire, yeah, Holy Spirit and fire. And if you go on to the next verse, by the way, go to verse 12, it says, his, his winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Well, wait a second, how's that work? They're showing the two different baptisms in verse 12, but in verse 11, it's one baptism, Holy Ghost and fire. It's a problem, isn't it? 